Right now, Kenny Kale has the privilege of talking to Rasan Roland Kirk, who is currently doing his thing in the Rocky Mountain area. Tell us about what you're doing and where you're playing and so forth. Well, I'm playing music at Tulagi's nightclub. Very good. It's nice to have you here. Boulder, Colorado. Well, very good. How long will you be playing there? I'll be there until Saturday. Okay, we're going to try and uh, catch you there. We've been playing some of your music on the air. How many albums have you put out? I don't know, about 20-something, 20 25, 26 albums. Uh-huh. What are, what are some of the big uh, tunes that you've had that has helped your career the most, would you say? Well, Three for the Festival, Volunteer Slavery, a few others. I record for the Atlantic record label at present, presently. I see. How many people are in your group? It's five in the Vibration Society. In the Rolling Stones, you know, so I shouldn't even have to talk about myself. It, it should be a known fact what I have contributed to the music, to the music business. Well, that's good. It's, it's uh, sometimes not everybody is informed, but this is why we're trying to get the message across, you know. This is why we're doing the interview, so that everybody uh, knows what's happening, knows what's going on. If you played my records, it wouldn't have to even be done that way, you dig? If you played my records enough, right. you know, well, the many station people is guilty. Mm -hmm. it is, that point must really be brought out. Mm -hmm. The station is guilty, and stations like it all over the country is guilty mm -hmm. in committing ge genocide against the music that I'm playing, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Would you tell us something about uh, basically how you got started? I got started by listening to black classical music, who I, and people that played black classical music, people that I admired all my life. What kind of people do you really look up to or admire? Well, people like Duke Ellington, Fats Waller, Sidney Bechet, Charles Mingus, John Coltrane, and a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. Any particular style that you like? Do you see any uh, future for certain styles or any styles that you're trying to head in toward uh, yourself? Any styles? I'm a style. You're a stylist uh, uh, of your of your own. I'm a style. Do you do you have any uh, particular name for what uh, kind of music you're trying to get across? I play black classical music. You're you're one of a few of a kind, actually, that is going into this area, right? No, I believe all of us uh, all of us play. All the uh, black musicians, I feel, play black classical music. They, some people call it jazz, but that name, you know, just doesn't hold up anymore. Do you differentiate between jazz and black classical, essentially? I differentiate uh, uh, different in it because uh, I didn't put the name on it. Someone else put that name on it. Do you see any, any difference in it yourself, or can you describe any difference? There is no difference. It's just the name. You, just see, you, call, name you, cho you chose to call it jazz. I had no choice when I was a kid to, to call it anything. I had to uh, wait until I was uh, grown enough and had enough uh, style to say what I want my music to be called. I mean, uh, just like uh, businessman chose to call rock music rock music, so he can separate us, so he can keep some people from working. So, if I say I don't play rock music in some clubs, I can't work in those clubs. It's the same, you know. It's the same old thing. Certain things, certain stigma you put on on a, on something to to control it. Uh, you know. Tell us about your latest album. The latest album is called Blackness, B-L-A-C-K-N-U-S-S. -S. Is there any uh, a basic message or any special thing that you would like to bring out about your latest album? Well, the music is the message. I try not to have to... Uh, you see, I've talked so much and it's not really being heard because, see, Whatever I might say, if it's if, if it's too strong, it will be erased from this tape anyway. You see, so I would if my music is being played, I would let that be the message. So the music is the message, in essentially. Until I, if if this if someone doesn't understand what I'm saying, 
And if they want to misinterpret what I'm saying through the music, then I can speak up and I can back up what I'm, whatever was said through the music verbally. Okay, well, I thank you very much for coming down to the station. Rasan Roland Kirk currently playing at Tulagi, still Saturday night, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, thank you very much.